Welcome back to Play That Ocarina! What song do you want to play next, Link? Uh, I, I want to I wanna play... Uh, uh, a song by me. Yeah, by me. Here, I'll play it for you. No, I played it wrong. Oh, uh, I keep playing it wrong. Frick, I keep playing it wrong. I keep playing it wrong. Why? Fine, I guess I'll just play... Zelda's Lullaby. Does that give me any extra points? No! Hey guys, Super Paper Scribbs here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we finished up on a couple side quests that we could. And in this episode, we are going to be heading back to Zora's Domain as we already are here. And I accidentally messed that up. I forgot you don't have to super jump that. But, when you play Zelda's Lullaby, we're going to come in here. Everything seems fine, right? Let's walk through. Seems like everything's frozen. Yeah. That's right, guys. Everything is frozen. Now, if you come here before you do the second temple, thinking that you're going to do much better here, and I like how it's snowing underground. How did this freeze? I'm going to break it open with my sword. Looks pissed at me. I'm going to run. Um... What was I going to say? Uh, if you come in here before the second temple, this will not be frozen. This will be all the same as it was before. Wow, nice rendering. Look who that is. The fat lardo, King Jabu Jabu. Or not King Jabu Jabu, but... Um... <laughs> um... Sign frozen. Uh, let's look over here see if there's anyone over here. No one's over here. Apparently he got frozen, slid off the cliff, and killed. Explode into an, a fiery ice flame. Yes, fiery ice. Fire and ice. Uh, I don't think we can talk to him because he is in a frozen state right now. So let's go see if King Jabu Jabu is the exact same way. I like how the water doesn't change there. It's just still regular. The water here doesn't change either. But Jabu Jabu's gone. On gone. And we have some Super Mario jumping to do. Literally Super Mario. Now, this has taken me forever to be able to do because some of the physics with this. I really like the physics and how they incorporated this in the game. But seriously, it can be kind of annoying. If you fall off, by the way, guys, you're going to have to start back over. Frick. What the? Submerged? Oh, I got that. Good. What the? You are kidding me! Yeah! Now let's actually see if I can get it this time. Thank you! Finally! A piece of heart, and we are friggin' glitching out. We've collected two so far, so. Herb derp derp derp! Wow! Freaking fail! Freaking fail! Alright, um. I was actually gonna mention something, guys. I'm not gonna cut here. I probably typically would. But, I wanted to uh, say that I got a lot of, so far, I've gotten a lot of good comments on the, or, Pario, Pario Marty, Ma Mario Party 9 Mondays, the new series that I started up, if you haven't, if, if all, if any of you guys haven't checked it out yet, I would suggest checking it out, because, you know, it is a very good series, it's going to be a one week series, it's going to be coming out every Monday. So, when you're ready, you can hop over here, hop up in here, and go into this very small slit of Earth. And we enter. Probably, not even, this can't really even be considered a dungeon. This is more of a mini dungeon, if anything. And, wow, I almost fell for that, like I always do in, I mean, like I do in... The regular Mario games. I always fall for those! Whoa, this thing is moving fast! This thing is moving damn fast! Oh god, I hate these things. These are... freaking Navi. What are you? A freezer! Yes, we're paddling a freezer! What the... Let me... 
Really? It comes back? Alright, so what Freezers will do is they... Freezer... Freezers... What they would do is they will... Basically... Uh, try to freeze you, and you're gonna have to spin the control stick. That's so unoriginal to be able to get out. So... Now, I recommend... Frick! Stupid Ice Spike! Anyway, what I recommend coming here with is I recommend you come here with three bottles, at least, if not the fourth one, which I'll be getting into much later. Probably almost near the end of the Let's Play, I'm actually gonna get into how to get that. Do 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 do. Alright, so this is the first, um, the first demonstration of silver rupees. Silver rupees are usually, they're actually not worth any rupees at all. They are... Completely different rupees. Wow, freaking glitchy. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna get stabbed by something. Wow, this is glitchy. It gets really dark there. Never noticed that. Um, we got a golden skeletula here. Now, this is gonna be the mini temple leading up to, um, the next area. Or not the next area, but the actual temple for this part of the story. So, typically, um, silver rupees will be... Um, wow, I almost got hit by that. Lucky! Ah, uh, the dog's gonna be coming back down here soon. I know it. I know it. He heard me. He heard my... Um, yeah, silver rupees will be used to open up doors and continue on to the next part. This room has freezers, falling icicles, and whatever those things are, the moving things. So be careful! Speaking of careful, I was amazingly careful there. Alright, so it looks like we got here is we got another room. This is what I call a mini temple because of the fact of how Mother effort ice keys You die. Never mind. You don't die. You die. Yeah Nope, nope, and he falls to his death as we watch him. I want to get this freezer freezer. We're not killing freezers ha! Oh wow, that was pretty epic epicosity uh, those things down there are spinning rapidly, so you can, that one thing there is spinning pretty rapidly, so be... I know what to do, Navi! I clicked the pause button, I thought you freaked out in the game. I know what to do. So, this in front of us here... Oh, boy. Frick. Frick. Frickity frick frick. Looks like I'm gonna have to use my fairies, I'm gonna have to use them here for pointlessness to be able to get this. Because it will save you a lot of time if you have more than one bottle here. Open nothing in them. So, I didn't even need to use it when I battled Volvagia too, which is the funny part. So, we can apparently trap blue fire in a bottle. Blue fire is not the coolest flame. It is actually... This is kind of ironic because blue fire is never the coolest flame. It is actually the hottest flame. The hottest part of the flame, I should say. So... Uh, you can drop it, and you can melt the red part of the flame with the blue part part of the flame. What's funny is it says it's cool, and yet it melts something that's cool enough that you can't actually, like... I don't know what I'm getting at. It's just, this place has a lot of irony. But it's a Nintendo logic. Now, no matter what people say, saying that this is a dungeon, that dungeon map is so unuseful. It is, like, so pointless. So, get out our third bot or second bottle, sorry, my mistake. And you're gonna wanna bottle up two bottles. And I think, no, this is where the hearts were. I think we have to head back to that one point somewhere back here. Uh, let me check, check the, uh, let's check the map. It's more helpful than checking the actual room. There's only one floor. It looks like we have to head back and it splits off into two ways. Uh, okay. Arr, me matey! I'm a pirate. Eh? Uh, where is the egg? Wow, it's right behind me, and I can't even see it. Good job, me. Um, guys, I'm I'm just gonna say this plain out. Um, right out in the open is the fact that I might not have up as many videos this week because the fact that this weekend, this weekend, I'm more talking about. What am I doing? We spin me right round, baby, right round. Pick up the heart link. And it practically disappeared. That's great. Freaking spun around it 20 times before I could actually get to it. 
I'm actually having people over this weekend, guys, is what I'm getting at. And I will not have as much time as typical to record because of the fact that all the people that are over at my house are younger, should I say. Um, what I would... Younger? Yeah. They're not as old as me and... Um, well, they're going to be around the whole day because, you know, they're there for a while. Uh, which way did I end up going? I don't know if I went the right way. No, I did not. I'm going to want to go back because there is something over on the other side that we need to get. All right, we don't need to get it, but it's very useful. Uh, no, Link! Frick, stop! Get off the stupid thing! All right, so we can place another blue fire right here to melt the red ice. Nintendo logic. I think I might have to go back for this part. I really hope I don't. Maybe not. Nope. I don't think so. Yep. Keys get away. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to grab some of this a blue of fire, put it in the bottle, and we'll get another one just for safekeeping. Now this room holds a heart piece. You're gonna want the extra bottles because the heart piece I think is right in here. And wow, nice, nice camera angle game. I'm going to want to watch out for the keys as soon as I come back in here. Now, most of my um, aunts and uncles that I know, they don't actually know that I have a YouTube account, so I'm going to be like busy during the weekend editing some of the videos that I record during the week. So it'll be kind of awkward. This is where the heart piece is. So, that keys almost messed up our camera angle. So, what we can do is we can place our blue fire, hit that keys. We didn't even hit him. Oh, whatever. Screw him. And there's a heart piece. Now we collected three. One more, and we will get another heart container. Our 14. Man, this Let's Play is going a lot faster than I thought it would, because I've seen some people do Let's Plays of this game, and it's taken them, like, up to 80 parts just to get to the freaking... Um, what was I going to say? Um, the Forest Temple, sorry. And then, like, 150 to actually get close to beating the game. Oh, hey there, I'm gonna get stabbed. Uh, back on the Mario Party 9 topic for Mario Party Mondays. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably want to play other Mario games after I finish all the things that I intend to do in Mario Party 9. Oh my god, I hate this. Absolutely hate this room. It is such a dick room. Hey, hey. I could have... Wait a second. Maybe not as big of a dick as I thought it was? Wow, talking about big dicks. That's very... It's very, um... You know, weird of me. Anyway, let's get off this topic of Nintendo and their dickism. Right here, we have another silver rupee in this room. Now, I think if you leave the area... What happens is all the silver rupees will reset, so you need at least two bottles to be able to do this. Ooh, that was close. I think I'm not for sure about that. Okay, I got him good. I wanted to make sure that I made him feel the pain. Oh, wow, that was lucky. That was more lucky than I think I'll ever get. Um, I'm trying to think. If you stop it, Link, I don't want to be spun right round around that. I think if you push the plat- I'm pretty sure- I know that if you push the platform off the edge, it will respawn right here. Somehow it just shifts out of the ice. And there's a golden skull pillow there that we're probably going to want to get. If I can not fall off. Okay, that can hit the wall, so I'll be able to get it easily. Easily! Let's get that golden skull to the- Probably right after this room, we're going to end it off, so. Just kind of a heads up. Die! Get shot in the face with a freaking like harpoon. I didn't want to climb up. God, this game with its climbing techniques, I've hated, hated ever since I was five years old. Even though I didn't even really play this game when I was five years old. I'm trying to think of where I need to go next. Cause this room can be extremely confusing and fuzzling. So, it looks like... Can I hop to that platform from here? 
No, of course not. Of course not. I can hop to that platform over there by, like, glitching into it, but I can't hop to this one. Uh, I guess we'll refill on our blue uh, fire. So, we got some blue fire. Fire! Wow, I am really stupid. I did not recognize I could just push this over there. I think it's more the problem that I... Get away, keys. What the... I felt... I'm not even going to ask. Not even going to ask. All right. So I think there are some purple, or not purple rupees, but red rupees. They're not even useful to us, so it's not like it matters. Um, all right. So from here, this is the one you're going to want to get last because the last part of the puzzle here is pushing this over here. And I think I already messed it up, didn't I? Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Let me, let me see if I can at least trick this out. Yeah! Apparently I can't trick it out because I'm just that ML jeezy. Whoa! Hey there. Uh, I want to see if we're almost at the end of this mini dungeon because it's not technically technically a dungeon. You cannot really consider it a dungeon. This is the thing that messed me up. I hated it because I had to go all the way back to getting it. And stand in the middle when you place this too, because it will get all the fire here. And you can break these pots also. So. Um. Um. Uh, sure, whatever. There's just a cutscene in here, which I want to kind of get over with this episode. And we got some of these dicks. These are white wolfos. Lure it close. These are typically, these are fought the exact same as other wolfos. And you can basically just wait until they're about to attack you, hit them, and he goes down pretty easily. Midway boss, very easy. When I say very easy, I mean very easy. So as a reward... We get the Iron Boots! I eat nails for breakfast without any milk! And Sheik. We meet again, Link. Yes, we do, Sheik. If you came here to meet the Zoras, you wasted your time. This is all there is. With one exception, the Zoras are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Funny part is the water temple and yet everything's ice. Heh, <laughs> ironic. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will melt, will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Zoras, I will teach you the melody that leads you to the temple. Time passes, people move. Like a river flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to a noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water's surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. We have learned the serenade of water. Blink, I'll see you again. Sheik, I'll see you again. Before you flash me and automatically like fly through the floor to a random place. So this is back where we entered. I'm just gonna check one thing here. Let's see where this goes. And now, by the way, with the iron boots. You are going to, and I repeat, you are going to want to save one fire. 
Otherwise, you have to come all the way back here. So, I don't... Okay, yeah, we can't breathe underwater. Taking off those boots sometime soon. Uh, let's take them off so I can keep moving. So, what I was going to say is you're going... And I repeat, you're going to need this if you want to go into the water temple and successfully beat it. Easily. Do not use your fire on that, by the way. It's completely worthless compared to what else we need. So, we're actually going to head back to where we need to go to finish off this episode. So, you're going to be saving this fire for a specific reason. Okay? Hear me out. I've done... I did that, and trust me, I got so mad. And I regretted it so much. So, we're going to head right back here. This is the reason you're going to save the fire. Wow. That was very led up to absolutely jack. You're going to want to use your fire on King Zora here. And we... Nice camera angle again. Props to the game. We'll mount him. And we're going to want to hop back, back, yeah, hop back down here and talk to him. Oh, I've come back to life! It's like you've been rejuvenated with some sort of skin cleanser. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. Watch this, you won't choke underwater. How do we know that? So now we get the sky blue Zora tunic. Now we can wear it. We're going to equip that really quick. Just show you how it looks. And we're going to end off the episode. So this is the third tunic that you can get. The Zora tunic. And. We are completely blue. So. Well not literally blue. We're not like the blue man group or something like that. But our clothes are now blue. So, next time, guys, we will be warping to Lake Helia and entering the Water Temple. As usual, don't forget to comment, subscribe, freaking camera angle. I'm trying to make this look epic. I'll see you guys next time. God dang it, camera angle!